Let's do a bag cheers. <laughs> Twinning. hey guys so as y'all see we started off by getting my lashes done so cute so let me properly welcome you guys to a new weekly vlog it's your girl bad tammy if you are new to my channel subscribe and do all that good stuff so yeah guys like i said i had an early appointment then i had to run and go pick my daughter up I actually just came from eating some sofas at my mom's but i'm coming to the house because actually i have to meet my sister um shayla here because she's actually um hosting a little event at my house she's supposed to be here around four it's currently wow 333 angel numbers i think those are angel numbers for support actually so anyway she's hosting an event here so i wanted to make sure i'm here when she pulls up and you know help her get everything started we're doing like a painting event we're basically going to be designing our own little tote bags so i'm really looking forward to that and honestly when we have like sister events they last a little long they last in between like three to four hours so i honestly believe that's the only other thing i'll be doing for tonight so actually before i change it to something a little bit more cozy i wanted to show you guys the fit well actually i'm changing because i have on a all white fit so this was the fit, just this crop top H&M jeans from um, Sheen. And then I have all my wash ones and then y'all know they match perfectly with my bag. So this was the little look or whatever. But like I said, it is a painting party. I don't want to be sitting here with all white and then it's in the house. So I don't want to be sitting here with jeans either. So I'm gonna probably throw on something comfy and then I will check in with you guys. <music> You say you want me, I don't ignore you You said it first, but I did it more, girl Oh, yeah Oh, yeah Oh, yeah You got potential, I can't explain it It's so persuasive, I made some changes Oh, yeah Oh, yeah, wherever you this whole time Come and see me now, not enough time You should come and see me on a regular I don't know if we'll find a better time Wherever you this whole time Come and see me now, not enough time You should come and see me on a regular I don't know if we'll find a better time Cause I've been sleeping with pistol in my bed Gotta get out of my own head. Don't let me die. Don't 
yeah. Don't let me die, come here right now. Grow up and face it, don't keep me waiting. You love me how you love me, then just say it. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Girl, what's the hold up? Come take me over. You came the closest, we should be closer. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. It's real early in the morning. It's Thursday today. Got back from um, dropping to Zala off. I wanted to talk to you guys because actually Tiny has a grooming appointment. And I want to show you guys his before and after because he been going through it. He be acting like an old man, y'all. Like, he doesn't like nobody. Well, he kind of likes people, but he doesn't like dogs. Like, he's always barking, just grumpy all the time. When I say he don't like people, like, when we used to take him to get groomed at PetSmart, he used to give them, like, the hardest time ever. He has not got groomed in a minute, but I have been cutting his hair. But, of course, I just, you know, be um, messing him up. So, what I like about these groomers, they're actually, like, a um, mobile one. So, they pull up. They're going to pull up here and then, you know wash him and cut his hair right in front of the house so i feel like that would probably be more convenient so i actually wanted to show you guys my little bag that i made the other day for my sister date and i am like obsessed with it look at this bag y'all it looked like i bought it i tried to go with halo kitty but i did with like different personalities that i felt were kind of like me so the first one you know pink girly she got her pink phone or whatever with like this little skirt it's kind of played i don't know if y'all can see it but i think i um, kind of put like the side by side from the inspo and then this one is the one with the glasses y'all know i love wearing my frames here and there then this is just like the um kind of original one but instead of red because i already did red i did like a darker pink and then i got to find this one with a camera i did my pink little camera because if you know you know i didn't want to um keep it repetitive with the pink so i just threw another little girly color in there which was purple so yeah this is what this looks like so cute and then y'all know we had to do like a little pouch as well and i ended up doing a hello kitty just to match the vibes so the kitty and then like the little dark pink um bow at the top so so cute i'm ready to wear this it's kind of it's supposed to be like a beach bag but i think i'm gonna wear this soon because it's just giving it to me i feel like we actually all did good only karen she didn't um finish but i want to show you guys these shoes because i actually got a new new package today that i ordered to zona i'm always ordering stuff for her and barely order my stuff anymore i got her these i think they're nike um lows yeah they're um some lows nike lows it kind of remind me of like the jordan ones as well and pink you know she has a lot of pink in her closet and you know pink has different shades so i just got those for her um I got her these threes. These are actually all new releases except those Nikes. I just seen them and I like them. Got her these threes. They're like nudish, kind of brown vibes. Yeah, I know she wear khakis, so I feel like this will match her uniform. All of these are actually like, she has some other ones, but she wore them today. I'll probably show them to you guys later, but it's some that dropped, um, I believe, last week. So, my crazy tail. I thought these were some other ones that I had ordered her. But... It's actually skims. <laughs> but I think tiny groomers are here. Give me a minute. I was trying to get tiny, but he was having a hard time. Like he was being difficult. I don't know. I think he sensed that he was about to get a haircut or whatever. So I couldn't show you guys the before. But y'all pretty much know what tiny looked like. He's just like real furry, hair looking crazy. His breed has like a specific haircut. I'll insert them on the screen or whatever. So that's kind of the cut he's supposed to be getting now. 
which I'm really excited for him to get it because he's only had his schnauzer cut maybe like twice. Yeah, I'm really excited to see what he's going to give after his cut. So I'll keep you guys updated on that. All right, y'all. So it's been a few. How long did that actually take? I think like an hour. And Tiny is all done. Look at Tiny. <laughs> he got a little time. Let me see if you guys can see him here. So this is technically the schnauzer cut. I don't know if you guys can see it's like shaved down, but this still has his hair down here. And then of course, his eyebrows did get cut short, but I think I messed those up from when I used to cut him. I used to like make sure he didn't have too much like, you know, hair in his face. Now you can see Tiny. He looks like a whole little bougie dog and everything. Tiny, he smells so good too. Susanna gonna be so happy when she see him. So that is Tiny's haircut, y'all. So freaking cute. I just actually have to run to the bank still. We'll probably do that. Hey guys, so it's much, much later. I didn't want to step out to um, the bank till I picked Susanna up, as you guys hear. Here she is. And those are the other pair of sneaks I was telling you guys about. New shoes, who this? Period. <laughs> so right now I'm out about to make this withdrawal like I told you guys. Then actually I have to do my sister's hair because they're actually going out of town. I'm a bit sad because I was supposed to be going. going. Out of town for what? <laughs> we were supposed oh to be going God. on this B day trip, but I have some other little personal stuff going on. But it's kind of working out for the better because yeah, know she just got her new puppy so i'm basically gonna be um dog sitting barbie and then i think i'll have to take kale to school on that monday and pick him up so yeah i'm just gonna be being an auntie oh, but no, um too. i'm pulling up real quick to the atm <coughs> i'll talk to you guys in a minute all right guys so i'm back home bigger withdrawals only but like i was telling you guys i'm gonna be um dog sitting barbie over the weekend while the girls are gone i'm not sure what time she will be coming i don't think i'll show you guys that because i'm pretty sure she's vlogging you guys will pretty much see that on her channel and i'm pretty much just gonna be chilling like i said but i do need to give you guys the rundown of what is gonna be happening in the next few days because i actually have two events y'all two events my cousin hit me up not too long ago. I don't like that it's last minute, but he hit me up that he wants me to decorate for his um, baby shower. And then Nana wants me to plan and decorate for my cousin Sherlyn's birthday. And I'm really excited for both of them, but mostly for my cousin's birthday because it's going to be so girly and actually something very different. The theme for the baby shower is um, Winnie the Pooh. Um, I think because their gender reveal was like with bees, like what would it be? I've never done that, but I feel like it's very common in baby showers. Y'all know I like to do like little different things, but yeah, I'm still actually looking forward to doing that. So we're definitely going to be doing like prepping and all of that over this um, week. I probably come and talk to you guys a bit later just because I said, um, we are going to be waiting on my sister to pull up. Good morning. And I am sitting here wrestling with Miss Barbie. Because she keeps trying to bite my brushes and my makeup. And she won't listen. She keeps trying to bite my robe too. Because her is a robber who's trying to steal my mama's makeup. So I wanted to talk to you guys about the rundown for today. I have to do some um errands. <laughs> for basically my event that I'm gonna be having. Well, not my event, but you know, the core events that I will be doing. And I will most likely show you guys how I like to, you know, prep and plan. I'm just going in with concealer. We're gonna do a little um, contour and then blush. That should be all. Hey, bro. Stop, Barbie. Stop. What I have to do is run to the mall and get some robes customized for the sip and slay. Then I also have to run to Five and Below to find some LED mirrors. Party City for some letters that I want to do. Like the actual phrase of the night. So I'm just going to do glam and then get dressed and then come and talk to you guys. Get to Donna dressed as well. Hey guys, so I am already dressed. And I ended up just going with this juicy couture outfit. But I'm going to show you guys the little robes that I'm dropping on. I'm trying to not make them anymore. Because 
I just put Barbie in her case. She ended up falling asleep. I was gonna bring her with us, but I'm just leave her. I'm not supposed to take her out. I think until like three ish for her to eat again and all that good stuff. But y'all know she's a puppy, so she pretty much naps. But I think my um, I think my sister doesn't leave her home alone. So I'm gonna go ahead and get going, and then I'm gonna just check in with you guys. All right, guys, dropping the robes off. I don't have a purple. No purple. I have like uh, a glitter fuchsia. Oh no. So like, let's just do white. White. Yeah, let's just do white, and like a little cursive font. Yeah, I'm sure. So this is actually the little stand I'm at. It's by Abercrombie. If you guys want to check them out. Is that like cursive, right? Yeah. Looks like this. One. Yeah, that's fine. You like this one? Yeah. All right. Anything else? No, that should be all. So now we're in Forever 21, spinning coins. We don't need to. But y'all, tell me this ain't cute. Look. But don't you have a medium? I think it'll fit me, but I wanted it like in this color. I feel like I would match something better in this color. I found this for Chelly. You know, it's Libra season. So I'm gonna take this for her. All right, y'all, we checking out. But look at this cute set. It has the matching sweater. I'll show it to you guys later, but we about to leave. All right, guys, we are now in. I love you. I found this cute Hello Kitty Halloween shirt. All right, so I see they actually have some purple um, mascara. So I'm gonna grab some. So two, four, six. They also got these palettes. Three, four, five, six. So at the cart. Okay, so I originally came in here because they have the little LED mirrors for probably like five dollars. So here they are. And they actually have purple. So I'm gonna take these one, two, three, four, five, six. So we're gonna go ahead and check out that's all the items all right guys so i am back home when i left h&m the guy from the robes actually called me that they were ready so i had to double back and pick them up so i'm gonna show you guys the stuff that i got well i'm gonna show you guys one of the robes because they're all the same you know just different names um i was thinking between either um that's crazy i grabbed mines so it says bad Tammy. I did want them in like a darker purple, but he said he didn't have um, darker purple. So those are the robes. And then from five and below, I grabbed this cup. I believe it's actually like an actual cup because it has a straw, but I got it because it had beauty blenders. It had purple, different shades of purple and like this marble one. It's six of us, including Tizana, so that's seven. So I had to grab two to make sure I had enough. I got this Hello Kitty shirt, like I told you guys. So freaking cute. Eyeshadow palette, it's purple, like the lavender. And then you guys also seen the mascara. And you guys also seen the mirrors. That's all I got. Then I wanna show you guys what I got from Forever 21. So I got to find this Bratz shirt. And then I got these um, biker shorts. I remember I used to be so hooked on Forever 21's biker shorts. I got gray. And then I also got some black ones. These are good to like, you know, lounge in or whatever. Then I got this. They had a lot of Hello Kitty stuff, y'all. I believe Forever 21 did a Hello Kitty and Friends collab. But I got this one. Y'all know Halloween is coming up. Then you guys seen the shirt that I grabbed for Chelly. She could, you know, wear this on her birthday week. I really want to show you guys the hello kitty sweatsuit that i found y'all so freaking cute the only thing the sweats are in a medium but y'all know i'll wear medium anyways but i feel like a small would have probably just fit better but these are the sweats they're white and they have the hello kitty and pink bedazzled and then on this one it has some hearts with like a little drip on it and then this leg the same hello kitty one it says hello kitty with that heart their stuff has this like hello kitty tag on there I got these in a medium, like I said, and these were 34. So those are the sweats, and then this is the hoodie. 
it has the same you know sparkly hello kitty it says hello kitty then it has the heart on the pocket right here and then the back it says hello kitty with the big hello kitty on there so freaking cute i could probably wear this um outfit with my little hello kitty bag cute fire when i seen this i was just like yeah and i really love like the little tag that they add on there cute and i got this in a small it looks big but i got it in a small i could probably you know actually wear this like oversized big with like some shorts under or something cute 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 i'm gonna try to find that and link it for you guys i don't know hello kitty just got me in a chokehold again right now i remember me and shayla used to be so obsessed with hello kitty i used to rock her um hello kitty chain because she actually ended up getting the big one so i used to wear it I used to ask her to let me wear or whatever. But it's crazy how she like just disappeared out of nowhere and then she's like making her comeback. But now it's like getting praised and it's cool. But I remember back in the day they used to say like Hello Kitty was like devil related. Like is it just me or do you guys remember when people was like bashing Hello Kitty a lot back in the days? Well I feel like they used to do that about everything. Like we can't never have nothing because it was always like... A story like devilish story behind it so actually i told you guys that i had to plan i really need to plan for the baby shower because that's like a bigger event so i really want to get that more so out the way but sharon's birthday is actually in a couple days so i want to complete both of them today really so i told you guys that i was gonna show you guys kind of how i do a little bit of my planning that's kind of why i got my um ipad but on my ipad for some reason it doesn't let me well i don't like to log in in my um icloud on there because i don't want like my stuff going on there and you know my phone is a little more handy i'm on it all the time but really that's what i got my ipad for it is better on the ipad because it's you know bigger or whatever i'm gonna show you guys how i do it on my phone i'm gonna show you guys probably one of the ones that i've done for no no since that's the recent event that i did so you know i name it at the top and then i put my little pictures in there how i want it like inspo pics i grab little things from a lot of setups and then just bring it all together to make one and make it different unless i'm really doing like a copy and paste it kind of all depends on what i'm going for but anyways i like to do it by main setup and then this is like prop setup then i also have like table setup ideas and all that the treats and all that and then on my ipad let me see if it's charged it's barely charged but i like to do the actual mop mock-up on here similar to how i did um jazir's i don't know if i really showed you guys that on the ipad i do the actual mock-up like this like that's the balloon like that was the main balloon backdrop like you guys seen um then this was like the table setup so i can visually see it as in on there is pretty much like the notes like the rough trap i guess you would say so yeah here's uh, my mom's birthday as well that i did on here just a lot of like inspos and you know putting it together i'm gonna do it on my phone and then i'll probably do it on my ipad and show you guys the vision that i have so this event for sharon is gonna be called the sip and slay and it's pretty much self-explanatory we're going to be sipping and slay we're going to be doing our makeup if you guys know my cousin sherlyn she is into makeup she's kind of in the steps of you know being an MUA or whatever so we were just like you know so perfect and then she actually recently just had her baby so we wanted to keep the vibes like very minimal very chill so we just thought you know makeup is so her and then it's just like it's nothing better than you know getting cute which on her birthday she's gonna be cute so that's the vibes we are gonna do mocktails because like i said she just had her baby so we are gonna incorporate mocktails so the table setup as you guys can pretty much envision is gonna be basically simple with the led uh, mirrors that i showed you guys that i got and the extra step that i'm basically bringing together is adding like little purple details because her favorite color is purple so you know that's gonna be the vibe so that's why I got the mascara and all that. So what I'm thinking right now, do I want to just have it placed on the table, like on the actual table setup? Or do I actually want to get like a little baggie or a little custom box that says Sherilyn Sip and Slay or Sip and Slay? So that's kind of 
what I like to think about and do when I actually, you know, put it in my notes or whatnot. As far as the balloon setup, I know it's gonna be just a purple garland. I'm gonna get the letters Sip and Slay. Probably spray paint them purple because they don't come in purple. So yeah, it's pretty simple like I said. Y'all can't really see what I'm typing on my phone. What I just explained to you guys, I'm going to put it down in my note and then I'm going to show it to you guys to see if you guys can kind of get and see how I make up my note and how I kind of plan. So it's been a bit later and I did do a little bit of planning. So I flipped the camera real quick for you guys so y'all can see pretty much what it looks like main setup purple art garland the colors are the dark purple and light purple i'm either gonna put sip and slay with balloons or i'm gonna cut it out and put it like a sign and then these are pretty much like the inspo pics it's like that arc i'm gonna do purple and then you see like the purple vibes basically um and then the table setup pretty simple like i told you guys white tablecloth the mirrors a little placement mat, name tags, floral in the middle, and then either some custom boxes or some custom little goodie bags. You know, Nana usually always likes to incorporate that. So that's pretty much like the vibe. And then we're also debating between a milk and cookies bar because Sherilyn loves cookies. So we were just going to add another little touch of her in here. And then this is pretty much just like the inspo is, you know, pretty slow explanatory just a milk and cookie bar basically it's all that i have so far so actually while i was out i had stopped at cvs for some of the cutouts that i wanted to do this is one of the cutouts that i printed out it's a purple makeup brush i'm gonna you know put this on the foam board and cut it out and it's gonna stand up on its own in front of the main backdrop so i got that one. Oh, this one came out wrong uh, and then I also got this makeup palette and then like the little brush. But as you guys see, it could have been way bigger. I wish I would have um, checked it up there for me to realize this. Because it would have, you know, we could have used this whole thing and make it so much bigger. But this makeup brush is going to be cute and big. So for my images, I usually just look them up on Google and then, you know, cut the background out and get it printed at CVS. This is a 24 by 36 poster. Um, they are 31 and some change each. So, you yeah, know, the pricing goes by the um, sizing. I think this is the biggest one that they do have there that i know of i'm not really sure if i do my phone boards for these cutouts that i did i will show you guys that next i do have to um look for my glue gun because i'm not really sure where it's at and then i actually did put my ipad to charge so i will actually do the little set up on there how i usually like to do and then come back and show you guys how it looks so you guys can kind of pretty much see a better vision and then see the actual vision when i put it together but that's all i'm gonna be doing we just got back so i just fed barbie the weenie has a whole schedule that her mama left me with so she just ate and then i have to take her outside to you know use the bathroom and then she's gonna chill for a bit and she's probably gonna nap and then the next time that i have to take her out is two o'clock i believe 2 a.m so she has a whole schedule, like I said. So she's just gonna be chilling for a few. And then I'll come back and update you guys with, with whatever else I do. She is gonna cook dinner, not I. So I'm not gonna show you guys that. But pretty much for now, I believe we're just gonna chill with Barbie. Tazana is like obsessed with her. She likes playing with her. So, so that's what they're gonna be doing while I decide what i'm gonna you know do next or whatever <laughs>
What can we match? That one kind of look like it. Not really. They got some other purples here. Oh, those match. Can y'all see which one though? Oh, it's the same one. <laughs> Stupid. So this one actually matches perfectly, so I'm gonna take this. I'm just gonna get like a pint though. I don't need that much. Can I get a pint of this? What are you painting? Um, like a arc backdrop. So you just want something cheap? Yeah, the right. cheapest. So the smallest is gonna come in as a quart. I don't need that. Of, this is the size of a quart. It'll do 100 square feet. Okay. Well, that's the smallest. Uh, we'll get that started for you. Okay. So while she's mixing the paint up, I'm actually going to grab some little prongs, clamps, I think that's what you call them, that I always get, but I can never keep up with them. But they're only like 99 cents. They only got two left. They got some smaller ones. So I'm going to just take two of these and two small ones. All right, y'all, so I am back home, and these are actually the final product of the cutouts. I didn't get to show you guys. This one is having a hard time standing by itself. So I'm gonna go ahead and do these little kind of, you know, favor bag, makeup bags. She usually always likes to do that for her event, so I just thought to do it. She didn't necessarily tell me. So these are what the bags look like. They're clear, and then they have the, um, you know, purple trim on it. And now that I think about it, I actually thought these was, like, way bigger than I thought, and I got a lot of items. As you guys seen me get this eyeshadow palette, the mascara, sponges. I had got these little um, glosses from... CBS. I got makeup white. I got these little nose strips. I actually just got these from Bob and Below. These are little items for Susanna's bag. And then I actually ordered this kit. It comes with, you know, lash tweezers and it comes with the spoolies. I really got them for the tweezers though. So. But it came together as a kit. And then I got these purple lash boxes. I couldn't find any cute um, lashes from the couple stores that I did go to. So I just picked up this set from Five and Below. They look pretty all right. And then actually some purple brushes is supposed to go in this um, bag as well. But that doesn't get delivered until tomorrow. I did place the order for some stickers that's going to say Slay on this and purple words, of course. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put these together. I'll probably show you guys one. See how it goes. This is going to take the majority of it. Well, that's good for it to, you know, look actually 
full and pack in here. So we're gonna put the makeup wipes, I'm gonna put the mascara, the eyeshadow, the gloss. It's two different one of these because I only got to find three of these that's actually that's actually glosses. We have two grown ladies. This is like a lip color. Like my mom loves color and you know basically grown people love colors and young girls like more like a gloss. I'm gonna put a beauty blender in here and then I'm gonna open up the nose strip. I really just got it because it was perfect y'all you know just to fill it up a bit more and give the vibes. There's some nose strips. So I'll put the lashes in there and this is what it looks like. <laughs> so I'm gonna put those in here. I'm gonna put about five of the spoolies just because. And I'm gonna put two of the lash applicators. And the only thing that will be missing in here basically is the sticker and then the um makeup brushes. So this is what it looks like. Nice and full and purple bites. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of these guys. And then actually, um, the art that I'm supposed to be painting, I think she said he has to fix it a little bit. So then I'm gonna um, paint that. I'll probably insert clips of that. And then honestly, that should be the end of my night. And I think I'm honestly just gonna go real early when I drop Tazana off. Cause the girls don't land until the afternoon. So I feel like I should be, you know, good on time and not actually rushing. So this is probably gonna be my night after I put these little bags together. In the After we kick it, I'ma turn it to a fan. Can't respect the nigga if that's some he the man. I'm loyal to my niggas and I'm loyal to my fan. Y'all switch sides like Stacey Dash. Pride is a cost, we could price the tag. So for 45 minutes, I'ma get the bag. Gonna be there for my sons like my name's Steven Nash. Old Booker, this a light cooker. My bitch fine, yes sir, she'll look good. It's Katrina, we don't need no DJ. Got a place for a face, we done seen like C-Sake. She sounds so disgusting. We so loud, it sound like a discussion. I hit it with some rhythm, call it pussy percussion. Spank that ass, broke her back up in London. Hit it like Anderson, pack that pussy up, baby, I'll handle it. No matter if you're with somebody new, you gon' think about me and I'll think about you too. Too.
later and as you guys can see in just a bit of decorating i haven't necessarily had the chance to talk to you guys because i've just been doing a lot a lot a lot of running around so i've just been showing you guys the few little decorating that i did get to complete earlier when i had came to my sister's house to you know get started i was supposed to be waiting on amazon packages for a few items one of those being new um tablecloths because like i mentioned actually to you guys the ones that i do have are dingy so i wanted some new ones it said delivery was going to be somewhere between like three to six and then tell me why it was getting a little closer to time and i checked on it and it said they're not going to get delivered until tomorrow so i was just sitting there waiting like a dummy when i could have just you know went and bought one and you know got it over with so once i did get to finish my little balloons it was time for me to pick tazana up and then i actually had to pick my nephew up from school which is on totally two different sides of town i had to go back to nana's house and cater to barbie because it was time for her to eat and then by that time my sisters was already um like probably 30 minutes out from getting back to the house from you know the airport they got back in town today so that's pretty much all that's been going on so right now i'm actually looking a bit crazy as you guys see my hair is not done i'm actually on the way back to my sister's house from from the house getting you know myself to get again the shower all and all of that getting my stuff i just wanted to update you guys really but you know pretty much how i'm looking right now is the vibe because the event is for you to you know get cute slay you know do your thing so i was just like i'm gonna do my hair over there since that's pretty much the vibe and then you know I'm gonna do my makeup and all that i would just check in with you guys once i make it to her house i have made it to nana's house and we are setting the table up i just pressed the um robes so i'm gonna go ahead and place the mirrors and we actually doing these for us and then these for my auntie and my mom because they didn't have all of these i know originally i showed you guys that i got these but nana said she didn't like them so i got to find these So add these. This is what it's looking like so far. Nana went ahead and put the bags and the um, robes. I'd say in front. Right in the front. Yeah, so now we're just gonna place these tags that we got. They're kind of like keychains, actually. Really cute, the B and the N. Teeny. And there's actually only people that know how to do makeup here because it's a sip and slay. Yeah, I said my mama and my auntie, but it's just like that's her second mama, and then mama straight comes to all the events. Yeah, Chelly is here. Got keep walking, walking. Keep See walking. Walk, keep walking. Aww, this is so cute. <laughs> With the purple makeup brush, what? Right, you ain't look at that table. Ooh, I like this. <laughs> yeah, yours is over here. Your roll, your name little tag. Little no, little we got mocktails, baby, because you can't drink. This cute. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. you know what's up? <laughs> right, do you know what it is? It's a makeup party. 
<laughs> Make a party. <laughs> All right, guys, so I'm gonna put my little robe on and get started because I actually have to do my hair. I just finished eating, it's spicy. Yeah. So, robe on. I don't think everybody else is ready, but I'm about to go ahead and get started. And this is actually the first mocktail of the night. So cute. Oh, you still feeding. I was gonna do a cheers with you. Cheers. Same this one. Cheers. This drink is actually good. It got it got um the blue summer edition red bull, blue power way, the little glitter, purple glitter, and then lemon juice. 10 out of 10. Strands. All right, I already added my bundles. They actually already started on their makeup. What's going on? Come on, brows. Here's Chili. Look at Tazana. My girl is beat to the good. Period. <laughs> my auntie doing her foundation. You too, mommy? Eyebrows. Eyebrows. You still on brows? Brows and concealer my acne. And I'm still on nothing. <laughs> and Claudia's on foundation. So I'm gonna start priming. I like the Elf primer better than the Milk. I don't know. I don't see the difference. Well, I haven't went back to Milk after this one. I feel like the Milk was breaking me out. You hear me? So you like the um, elf better? Yeah. You hear me? Ay, y luego que me, así. ¿Ya te poniste tu la foundation? No, that's what she said. Oh, sí, nomás te la haces así un poquito. Pero hátelo con el otro. En este ojo nomás poquito. MUA Tammy. The real MUA not helping us. But I'm telling you. She knew where I came from. Estrella. Yeah. Yeah. We didn't take my um, micro, um, what, the microblading? Her brows? Mm -hmm. Jody, what step you on? I did my brows, the no, contour, and my blush. Yeah. And then I'm gonna do my uh, concealer. Sherlyn. Mm -hmm. God, Everybody like already started but me. So after that, do y'all do foundation? After what? Not a big bow. Yeah, conceal. No, conceal. She got make it <laughs> Um, yeah, yeah, after a week, I conceal. Yeah. I do my foundation. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna just do my usual. I ain't gonna do no break, nothing different. Cause I used to. Do I was gonna try to do purple. Yeah, I wanted Chili to do like something. A little purple look. No, you gotta do your own. <laughs> My mom's is actually giving. Yeah. Okay. Get it right left. I'm gonna do a concealer first. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I like. Yeah, she got a lot of I got a lot of dark spots. So when I do my um concealer, I like spraying this. I hate that we can't listen to music at the same time. And then blend, blend. Oh. Alright, so this is what it's given after the concealer. Then I'm going with this. Up here. Right here. The double chin. And the nose. So like this. So blend, 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 blend. Blend, blend, blend. I was about to say, bro, I don't know for the bus. 
damn forgot. Why I want a buzz. The girls came back from time from Vegas. Yeah, they don't want to drink with me. <laughs> See what had happened was. <laughs> we can take one because Chelly said she's going to take one. Take this stuff off. Excuse me. Yeah, I'm probably going to bake a little bit more right here. I'm baking and going to brown. <laughs> What is they dead about? Face. They're not even drinking. Look at that. You sent it All right, so now I'm going to add blush. Show your blush, look cute. Thank you. I don't like that blush. Put some of Tammy's. You had another one before mine. Oh, but yeah, I put that because they say you're supposed to put the um, the liquid one. The I don't have a liquid one. Remember, I was trying to get we was trying to get one of those too, and then yeah. I'm feeling in my brows next espresso that I stole from Nana. Give my damn brows. I just be feeling a little bit though. I like the wolfy brows. I haven't even showed you guys. Blim, blim, blim. Mommy duties over there. Adam a girl. ¿Qué hace usted, tía? También rimer. Claudia. Me. I'm gonna try to do the uh, purple. Oh, okay. Kind of look like it. I got more colors over here if you want to use mine. Mm. Bartender Claudia. We're about to drink Hennessy VSOP, very special. <laughs> oh, it means it's very superior old pair, whatever. Take a shot. For the birthday girl. One time, time for the birthday, birthday girl. Two times for the birthday, birthday girl. Three times for the birthday like girl. Pool or small? Mess it up if it's small. your birthday girl. Mess it up a bitch. She ain't drank in a year. She about to be in love. Shy. I do this every time I ask for cola, y'all. Yeah. Well, it, it's the Coke's in the fridge. I'm saying y'all always want me to chase them. I mean, okay, you can you put two? Oh, no, no. They are the same size. You short? I only like Henny with Coke. You look real pretty on the camera. Well, I mean, yeah, you look pretty. But I'm saying it look what I'm looking at you through the camera, not right here. Everybody's looking good. Chelly's look cute. Her first shot at what? My mom did good too. Cheers, Cheers to Charlene. A year? Cheers to Twenty-three years old. Cheers. Being a grown woman. A mother. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Cheers. I'm scared. Go ahead, Chelly. Oh, cheers. Cheers. I'm giving Rockstar. That's cute. I like it's when Pam. Cute, yeah. I like when Pam. I don't know what it's called. Shit, I don't even know how to do that. <laughs> it looks cute. Oh. I just did it. All right, guys. I am done with she my look. I ended up adding some lashes. I think it's irritating me, though. I'm ashy, too. But we're taking little pics right now. And I actually ended up adding a shot in here. But look at these cute cookies. Makeup brush, makeup palette. And then we got Sip and Slay. I'm actually about to try this one. We're about to sing happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Sherlyn. How old are you? Twenty-three. How old are you? Twenty-three. A la triquiti triqui. Ra. A la triquiti triqui. Ra. A la bio. A la go. A la bim bomba. Cherry, cherry, ra ra ra. Make a birthday Bravo. wish with no candles. Right, we forgot to get mm. candles. <laughs> no worries. Happy no birthday, Happy yeah. birthday, girl. Hey y'all, I am back home, and I actually took my makeup off because y'all know it was a late night session. I don't want to sleep in my makeup because my skin already been acting up. 
But I want to show you guys my fit before I took it off. It's the fit. Two piece. Like a long skirt. Cute or whatever. Cute little girly fit. So yeah guys, like I said, I am home. And I'm about to call it a night. Just wanted to check in with you guys. And before I go, happy birthday to my cousin Sherilyn. You know, I love you. And, you know, I hope you enjoyed your day today. So, good night. Good morning, guys. I just dropped to Zona off at school. And, and I'm just feeling like these lashes on my eyes. Just holding on. So actually today I'm actually gonna have a busy day, but it's just gonna be of one thing. Um, I know I mentioned to you guys I, I had two events, but I didn't really get to doing and starting on the baby shower I mentioned to you guys. It wasn't really decisive on what actually my cousin wanted or if he was actually really sure. So yeah, that was a big hold up, which I feel like is why I'm gonna be having a lot to do today because I only have one day to prep everything. It's like it's simple, but it's not. The vibes is gonna give simple, but honestly, it's never really simple when it comes to decor, especially when it involves like garlands and stuff. I feel like that is what takes most of the time. But I do want to prep tonight. The only thing is the party is gonna be, I believe like 30 minutes away and I don't wanna rent a U-Haul. Um, so I don't know if it should be a good idea for me to just do balloons over there, over there or if I should prep and um, cause I did order some balloon bags. She has his truck. So I'm just trying to be cautious. Like if I do the balloons in time to the truck, like are we going to be good on the highway? The baby shower is tomorrow, Saturday, but he actually said they're going to be dropping the tent off today and setting it up. So I was just like, I'm going to just go today. I know I was like doing and getting decor out the way the day before if it's possible but yeah i'm gonna be doing a baby shower i know i had told you guys i was gonna show you guys the prepping for all that but like i said he wasn't really sure like what he wanted if he was gonna actually get me to do it or not so i didn't get to show you guys that like i did for um the sip and slay but did you guys see how i got it down to the t i didn't really get to show it to you guys but i wanted to have the inspo that i had in actual decor but i'm gonna probably insert a picture y'all see this well i'll put it on the screen that compared to the actual thing and then the table set up just really cute and honestly y'all i've actually been thinking of wanting to actually do decor for the public i'm not really sure all the way but i really have been considering and thinking about it and thinking about it not even if i do that i probably want to also do like planning i really like it but what i don't like is like and i try to avoid that i really think about is like having to deal with the people because i'm not gonna for one go back and forth with somebody about my price to like just be stressed because it's stressful but anyways that's what's going on i'm about to get me some starbucks i'm in a line now that's why i'm just talking to you guys and updating you guys it's a long line i'm gonna get me a little matcha I'll get my morning going it's currently 8 34 and then um it's actually a dollar tree right here so i'm gonna go to that dollar tree because i'm looking for some bases for the actual centerpiece that he um sent me so i can get that started and then when i get home i'm gonna start on the centerpieces and then i also have to do cutouts of all the characters that he sent and then i also have to get paint because she made me a new arc and I, I pretty much paint the arcs every time to match the vibe so i gotta go get paint to match the balloons and then later tonight like i said i'm gonna do balloon prep and just everything else because i do plan on going over there to set up so i got my matcha with the um pumpkin co foam on top that's what that looks like so yummy excellent it would be so sad when they take the pumpkin stuff away but i also got me a double smoked um bacon little sandwich that i'm about to eat i will check in with you guys once i make it to the dollar store so check this craft section out 
but it's literally empty so i'm gonna take these little chalk things they don't have just like the little chalk by itself which i thought they would have and i also needed glue sticks but they only have these colorful ones and i don't want that i ain't even exaggerating y'all there's nothing here as y'all see and then i also needed like some rope that was kind of like brown they don't have none clearly so basically this is what i'm looking for but not this thick and i needed it in an actual like roll pack because the one i already ordered is a bit thinner than this so i'm not gonna take that so for reference this is how i'm trying to do it but on a base so luckily they do have the vases i'm looking for I think I'm gonna take the smaller ones just to make sure like the rope is enough for them because I need 15. So add to cart. All right guys, so now I'm in CVS. So I can print what I need. This the one I need. This one and Ecorn. Oh, and Tiger. So I'm just looking it up on Google like that one and then I save it so that I can send it to this I'm gonna show you guys when I print it or whatever so instead of going with this that's like the original grown I found some baby ones that I felt like would go more with the vibe of like baby shower what y'all think so I'm about to go ahead and print these off so I got the flying one Igor, Igor baby Winnie the Pooh Tigger and Piglet. And I always do this one, I believe. All right, y'all, so I just been sitting here waiting on the pictures to get printed. As y'all see, three of them are actually done. I'm just waiting on the last one to get printed now. As y'all see, the machine is working. So I'm probably show it to you guys once I get home. The only thing I can say is I feel like I need to start finding somewhere else to print them a bit bigger. Cause I like like the big things and I think that one is 36 inches so I need something bigger probably like 50 around 50 ish 70 ish but I don't even know who prints that big get on that let me know if you guys know who prints um big posters like that but I'm out here looking for it Okay. So yeah guys, I'm gonna check in with you guys once I make it home. Hey guys, so I know I mentioned I was gonna do the um, bases. So I did one just to see what it was gonna give. I haven't been able to find clear glue sticks. So I got to find these the other day. They got like glitter in them. And this one, I don't know if y'all can like really see. You can like sort of see the glitter in there. Or maybe just cause it was my first one. At first I was adding the glue on the rope but now i'm adding the glue like this and then i like tightly put pull the rope as close as to the other rope down here just so it won't be like as gappy or we won't be able to see the glitter like the other one so i'll put it down and then i'll pull the rope like so so I don't know if you guys can kind of see the difference. This one, like you can see the glitter and it's a little gappy. And this one is probably like a little more tighter and closer. I honestly think this is not even going to be enough. I have two more though. But I feel like I had already used a lot on just that first one. And I have to do 15. So can you guys kind of guess what this is? So it's Winnie the Pooh vibe. You know, he's like honey bee. So this is basically supposed to be like a beehive. And then I also did order some little bee clips to put around here. I have a lot of hot gluing and wrapping to go. But I am going to go out in a minute. Hey guys, I'm in Lowe's. Back picking colors. And I actually, I was rushing out the house. So I forgot my camera. But this is the balloon. I'm trying to match it to this. Looks like one of these though. I think this polished ivory goes good. Never mind, y'all. This lion one 
I feel like it's the closest match. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it. And I'm irritated, y'all. I actually got a ticket coming over here. I'm so pissed. Okay, guys, so I am back home and it's actually been much, much later. I've just been sitting here doing these. This is what they looking like. Two, four, six, eight. With this one, I'm, I got 10 done so far. I went to Lowe's, got the paint. So I'm probably going to be painting tonight as well. And doing balloons and stuff. Well, I want to. Honestly, right now, it's 9.34. And it feels so much later. Still pretty early, to be honest. Usually, I always stay up to like um, 2 or 3 finishing up decor. But I really want to finish tonight because i want to make it to my last appointment in the morning so i actually stopped at dollar tree and i got these ropes it's much bigger and they're actually darker just in case i run out of this one i think this row actually makes about four so i'm probably gonna do two with the big ropes just to make it even and this is actually all that I've been doing and gonna keep doing until I'm done. That's why I ain't really been talking to you guys. I don't really wanna let you guys see me doing this with music because it's literally just the same thing. Putting the glue and wrapping it around. And then I actually got me a Red Bull because I was feeling a little bit down. So I'm gonna see if this actually gives energy like people say. I got this one. I actually liked it from um the Sip and Slay. We, would, we did that one mocktail and it had this one in it. And I really liked that drink. But I think it was because of this and it's really good. I don't be saying those are bad for you. But I'm going to see if I get that boost of energy. So I'm going to update you guys once I probably add the little bees that I ordered on here. Oh and then I actually add this new Dollar Tree that I went to. I found these chalkboards. Not the little ones but I found this big one. And maybe I'll draw like the little circles that's supposed to go on here to make it look like you know the entry so i'm gonna see if the hot knife cuts through this and makes that circle and if not i actually have some black foam board that i might just put it on there and i don't think i've actually showed you guys the decor the decor that i'm doing is actually going to be a copy and paste like no, none of this stuff is stuff like you know that i came up with and put together he sent me what he wanted and i'm just you know copy and pasting this is what it's supposed to look like as you guys see is the little rope and then it has the blackboard right there and then it has like little beads on it and then the floral so update you guys in a hot minute all right guys quick update it's 12 o'clock i am not gonna make it over there i'm still finishing up the centerpieces the little circles i kept telling you guys about the chalkboard was not cutting through with the hot knife so i ended up just using a black one traced out some circles and then i went around with the rope to you know cover it up and actually make it you know flush and then these are actually the little bees that i ordered to put you know on there i did want to see what it would give and this is what it looks like so cute or whatever i actually like that so cute and then it's gonna have the you know the floral in there so i'm just gonna repeat that step with all of these so let me show you guys one but i am so tired y'all so first i try to kind of you know figure out where i want it and there it's fine and then you know put the glue on there and stick it hold it for a few make sure it's on there so i'm gonna end up be putting like maybe around three or four on each the glue gun and then just hold it on the base like that. I don't think you guys can see me. But they're so small for me to try to, you know, put it, get a good angle for y'all. Add in the glue and then pick a random spot to just press it on there like so. And last one put it down here I'm actually put one more up here kind of close to the rim like so 
so do you guys pretty much see the vibe that this is like you know uh how do you say a honeycomb honey beehive cute or whatnot i really like this oh and then i actually did end up running out of it and this is what they look like sorry with um the big rope i kind of feel like i like this one better i feel like it gives it more like a 3d and kind of beehive look than the small ones i don't know can you guys see the difference this stuff like this is kind of what i like about decor but i just don't like when it's like last minute it makes the pressure it's a bit worse than not even that it just kind of makes me feel more drained because i could have really you know done this throughout the week and then today i would have been able to do my balloons like i usually do so honestly i'm just gonna finish these up um you guys see what they give and the other thing that i want to do as well is do the cutouts but i've showed you guys how to do cutouts um and i also want to at least do my small balloons so honestly guys if i don't update you guys tonight and like you know show you guys what all i get done i'm gonna come back and talk to you guys in the morning and your hair is looking crazy i also was not to get my i also wanted to do my hair tonight so yeah just you know my schedule is not really going how i would have liked it so good night guys hey guys it's the next day aka baby shower day i finished up a little bit of more pepper that i wanted to do before i headed out and y'all tell me why amazon sent me wrong mother effing balloons they didn't send me my pink balloons and they didn't send me my small blue balloons like they ain't feel like working like what's going on now i'm sitting here looking dumb i'm looking through all my stuff putting me behind because i'm looking for stuff because i know i'm not going crazy and i know i know my colors so they sent me pretty much 
just extra of the nude color balloons instead of whatever i needed i didn't really care for the pink because y'all know he's a boy the decor they had minimal pink in there so i was just gonna add minimal of all the colors blue i was gonna add the most of blue um minimal yellow and minimal pink i guess the vibe is just like pastel but then it's in my pink balloons it's the day of so i can't even run to get <gasps> balloons because um i believe i have to drive to high point i don't know you know if they have a party sitting nearby or they don't and i'm pretty sure it's not gonna be the same colors anyways so i'm gonna just have to fill in with a lot of the nude balloons in there which i really didn't want to do because i love i love my five inch balloons i feel like the small clusters always add the pop to the balloons i'm really pissed about that especially for the blue because that is one of the main colors blue and nude are one of the main colors so i don't know how that happened so i'm about to actually go ahead and put everything in the truck and then i'm gonna head out and i will probably check in with you guys once i make it to my destination and get started on decor currently it is one o'clock on a dot the event doesn't start till six o'clock so i feel like i have a good enough time but sometimes i do tend to take a lot of time especially when i don't do balloons i still have to do balloons y'all so let's go because i'm doing all this yapping, yapping, yapping. hey guys so i have arrived it's in this big tent as you guys see i went ahead and set up my arc backdrops that actually got a bit messed up on here well this one we're gonna have to redo it but i think it's staying from cheese truck y'all know he got that bright um green on there and then he touched it with his dirty finger so i'm probably have to wipe that but that's what it's gonna give and you know balloons and stuff on there and then i think this is gonna be like the table for like the treats and stuff so i went ahead and put that out but it's pretty much empty in here the tables and chairs and all that stuff i believe my cousin all that's gonna come and you know set that up because that's the part that actually takes the long and it's very tedious because you have to put a chair cover on every chair and i think they have like about 130 or 100 chairs and then it's just me solo dola today so i'm trying to you know hurry up and do it so i'm gonna go ahead and blow up balloons because i have not did balloons and i'll probably just show you guys once i start setting it up on the backdrop or whatever
much later. I'm all glammed up as y'all see. I went home and got dressed after I got done decorating. And now we are back at the baby shower. So I just wanted to update you guys really quick. from the fiesta but before i check that i want to show you guys my little outfit of the day what well, outfit of the night so i got on this white crop top with this jean jacket that has you know the little surfer fur or whatnot i got these brown jeans fashion over and then my ricks cute little look and then of course y'all know my little dior bag but these fit your girl good or whatnot but yeah guys we are home because it was cold as you guys seen it was outside and it was a bit cold and Susanna kept coughing and stuff and just being extra like always and i had already um planned on coming a bit home a bit early because i am tired my back hurts high key so i'm about to just you know call it a night and i will come back and talk to you guys tomorrow morning good morning guys so i'm actually gonna be getting ready with you guys for today since i didn't get ready with you guys yesterday but yeah i want to do like a little swoop with a ponytail with flips and i think in the soup i want to add a little bit of blonde maybe we'll see if we can make it poke through or whatnot i'm gonna do it on this side because i actually have a pimple right here so maybe i should take this pimple patch off like the swoop that we like to do it's like you know berry swoop like this but the swoop sometimes that i be seeing a lot is the swoop that's like somewhat like it's just swoop but not really swoop so i'm gonna see what i end up doing and recently i have seen a lot of comments about using a pencil or a pen when i when i be like parting my lines and it must be like people thinking they funny or something but i always said that i always prefer a pencil or a pen because to me i feel like it does a better line than a rat tail comb like i know that's what that's used for but everybody has a preference and i prefer to use a pencil and i'm not doing any of y'all's hair so you know don't be worried about it these are for the ones you know that think they're common in something that i don't know it's not that f serious okay so now that we got that parted i'm gonna add some extensions just because my hair is not even thick enough I always that's why I never do soups or like doing soups because I feel like I hate when the soups we have in like the little space and gaps and my hair is not thick enough for all that so I was saying usually when we do our soups we like to do them you know like this but a lot of the times when i see people do swoops they be mostly like just like this and my line never really stays like that because then i'll be taking my look like this little hair right here is most likely gonna come out for my edges measure it a little bit cut and glue 
But yeah, let me know what you guys thought of the um, baby shower decor yesterday. trust the process well I don't even I never done this so I don't even know what to tell y'all <laughs> all right so that's what it look like so next I'm gonna you know put my hair in the actual pony back here I'm gonna probably do that just to you know let make sure the glue up here is dry and I do my swoop at the end anyways So I slicked the ponytail. Now I'm just tying it up. And one thing about my ponies, they be tight. I know they're not supposed to. It's not good. And honestly, ponytails are not even good. Because it costs too much like pulling tension on your hair. But I feel like this is something that I've actually like perfected it. Quick, easy, simple, cute, no heat involved, like, and I'm actually going to just use the same um, short bundles that I had in the other day since I already got it cut. I don't want to put my long bundles in and have to cut those. But actually, I didn't even tell you guys, we are um, going to the fair. I want to go in the daytime just because in my head I'm thinking it's not gonna be that many people there but today is Sunday and it's actually the last day the fair is here so I don't know um honestly we're supposed to go throughout the week but I just want to take her really because you know it's the fair kids love the fair and I did want to go to the state one but the state one is much bigger and um you know they got better food but if I'm going for my daughter she don't care for that and like I said, it's a bigger fair, so the rides up there, the lines are way longer. So down here would be, you know, much better for Tazana and like the lines. But what I was really like hesitant to take her is because the weather has changed, y'all. It's already a bit chilly. I woke up a bit stuffy, I guess, from being outside yesterday. I don't want her to get sick. Y'all know how she do. Y'all know how she do. I was really supposed to wake up way earlier to do my hair. I had my alarm for 9.30, but I did not. It's currently 10.50, and we had said we wanted to be there around 11. But honestly, I'm not really excited for it. Like I usually be. Y'all know y'all always come with me to the fair and vlog. And I be like so excited for it. And I always get disappointed every time. I'm really just going for my daughter. So I'm gonna do all of this and then I'll check back in with you guys once I'm done with the style. All right guys, so updating you guys, this is what the hair is given. I flipped it and I actually ended up adding some blonde. You guys can see, since I have the blonde in the bang. And it still has the little gaps that I don't like. I just suck at swoops, period. Just to throw that out. I hate swoops, but I just thought it would look cute with the little, you know, blonde in there. And then I also did my glam. Cute or whatever. The only thing is the lashes, baby, they is gone. They is balding. I did try to add some lashes that I got. But um, since it's been a little minute, I don't have any lash glue. So I'm going to get dressed. I still don't know what I'm going to wear. And then I'm going to get Tizana ready. And then we're going to head out. And then I'll probably check in with you guys once, you know, I'm dressed. So I can show you guys the little outfit of the day or whatever. All right, guys. So I'm on dress. I'm going to show you guys my outfit. Even though it's simple. I want something simple. I'm wearing this black two-piece from Skims. This is from her Smooth Sculpting collection, I believe. And it's giving body. 
And then I just paired it with these um, purple fours, the purple candy, and I believe they're called. So yeah, that's my little outfit or whatever. I end up putting these bad Tammy earrings, and I'm actually going to put my rings back on. And this is pretty much the fit. And I'm going to wear my um, LV bag. Outfit. So I don't want to show y'all her fit. She has on this white long sleeve, this jean overall, and then her purple, not purple, her brown um, threes. And then she has some little bows to match. And I put these little press-ons her. On her. Bye-bye. <laughs> Show me a little bag. We'll bring my bag too. So, this is my bag. This is my bag. Twins. Twins. Let's do a bag cheers. <laughs> Twinning. So yeah, these are little outfits or whatnot. And we're gonna get ready to head out in a minute. To go to the fair. Bye. Hey y'all, so we have made it to the fair. And I brought this um little jean jacket. This is Wendy. And Susanna's on her first ride. Susanna! The ride is finally starting. Uh. <laughs> All right, y'all. So Tazana about to get on this ride next. It's a little train. She had to scare. See where she at? You the leader? You the leader of the train? <laughs> I thought it was gonna go a little faster. <laughs> Here comes Tizana. <laughs> all right, yeah, now we about to get some food. Let me get a Polish sausage. That's always the first thing I eat when I come. We always get it from this one right here. This is what they looking like. With the pebbles. All right, y'all, added a little bit of mustard. And that's what it's giving. I'm not gonna be able to show y'all me eating it. And then this is cheese. He got cheese on it. And Tazana got a corn dog. All right, this is on the next ride. She's gonna be flying this airplane. Did they tighten her stuff? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh. Who's next? <laughs> Who's next? Tazana! <laughs> ah. Alright y'all, so now we at Shuckers. We're getting some street corn. Y'all know I love elote. I'm gonna show it to you guys when I get it. Cause I actually got the one with the hot Cheetos. I think I tried it once, I'm not really sure. Alright y'all, this is the corn. And then Chi got basically like the Hispanic corn that we get. You're not Mexican. It's giving. <gasps> I'm expecting a stomach. All right, y'all, I'm about to try it. It's good. And we're gonna get the turkey legs. From where her? Yeah. Oh, she oh, fucking up, dude. Oh. <laughs> you gonna shoot? I'm about to do basketball. Cheese swear he gonna get it on the first one. <laughs> Trying to take my head off. <laughs> That's three. Come on, you got it. Dang. <laughs> we getting that one because it look like tiny. Don't they look like tiny? 
<laughs> Yay! You always win us stuff. Susanna <laughs> wanted to do this one. Go ahead, mommy. You got it. Go, mama. You gotta go all the way to the top. She damn near getting it. <laughs> Let's go to Zana. No! <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Hit it. Ah. So cute. That's gonna look cute in your room, Tazana. She like playing the game. Three tries for ten or seven tries for twenty. Keep them on. I'm gonna let you shoot. I'm gonna shoot, and mommy gonna shoot. Shoot the car. <laughs> yeah, let's see what you do. Okay. Uh oh. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Oh, get you, a medium, you can get the pink. Oh, you like the yeah, Thank you. Oh, it's Bob the Builder. <laughs> she the Builder. We're going on these rides now. You tall enough? Oh, you don't got no more tickets. Yeah, we actually had to come to this one. Cause the other ones weren't letting her in cause we ain't had no more tickets. She looked bored. <laughs> she had to get more tickets. So we had to come to a different ride. Nice on targets, on your marks, set, let's go race guys. Oh, uh, they beating y'all. They beating y'all, come on. Who won? Y'all won. <laughs> Y'all won. They're gonna get the green alien. But whatever. Hey, they got a pink one. They got a pink one. I already knew you was thinking about your truck. I hope this is a good angle, y'all. I got a funnel cake. Be careful. Alright y'all, now we at this stand getting some of the ribbon fries. No, you don't want some more. Oh, the oh that looks good. Alright y'all, Tazana about to jump. This is the last thing she gonna do before we leave. She wanted to do this so bad. Do a flip! <laughs> it's keeping her in the air. Jump! Yeah! Keep doing it! Yeah! Go ahead, go ahead! You gotta jump! You almost had it! Woo! <laughs> she got scared! <laughs> so 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 tired my legs on 10 my back's on 10 we actually ended up staying a bit longer than we had planned 
because we did pull up a little later but we basically left around like five just because it was starting to you know get a bit darker and it was starting to you know get a bit more packed and that's what i wanted to avoid i wanted to show you guys the stuffed turkey leg that i showed you guys i know i mentioned that i was gonna get it before i left but i've ate this before with y'all when we went to the state fair and they actually came to the winston one out it's the stuffed turkey leg with mac and cheese and it has barbecue on top i'm gonna eat this later or i might eat it tomorrow it's still warm from when i left but this is 10 out of 10 and then i'm actually gonna try the soul roll that they got i believe it has mac and cheese and collard greens and then i also got another corn this was from a different spot um they dipped it in butter i put mayo um cheese cayenne pepper and i think some lemon pepper on there it looks yummy that and then my sister karen actually wanted me to bring her a funnel cake bag she had wanted some wings we usually get but that man he's not there no more or maybe he just wasn't there today and then i also got her a soul roll for her to try and i got her a corn as well we dropped that off for her pump some gas because tomorrow you know i gotta take this on to school and now we're home about to lay it down call it a night and i wanted to update you guys you know really quick before i lay down but i'm tired so good night guys.